Whereas I tire of my effort to match the effort of this statement. Whereas native peoples and non-native settlers engaged in numerous armed conflicts in which unfortunately both took innocent lives, including those of women and children. I tire of engaging in numerous conflicts, tire of the word both, both as a woman and a child of that whereas, both of words and wordplay, hunching over dictionaries, tire of understanding weary, weakened, exhausted, reduced in strength from labor, bored. The art of poetry allows a uh, an openness, a flexibility, and sort of a, it allows me and it allows the reader to travel in a way that is not uh, a straight line, you know, beginning to end. That sometimes we can uh, circle around. I find this sort of circular path that's very beautiful to me. Uh, sometimes there's no conclusion, there's no neat end. That's the beauty of a poem. You don't have to wrap it up with a tidy ending with a bow, right? Um, and that's often what I say to my students. For me, art and poetry especially is a way of thinking out loud. How much must I labor to signify what's real? Really, I am five feet, 10 inches. Really, I sleep on the right side of the bed. Really, I wake after eight hours and my eyes hang as slate gray squares. Really, I am beluga. Really, I climb the backs of languages, ride them into exhaustion. Maybe I pull the reins when I mean go. Maybe kick their sides when I want down. Does it matter? I am Lila Beluga. I want off. Let loose from the impulse to note. Beware. A horse isn't a reference to my heritage.